What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about if we'll be able to swim in Hogwarts Legacy. The time is here. I can't believe it took me this long to make a video like this, but I know I had a lot of questions on this, and even when I, when I interviewed Troy in that live stream, people had asked, you know, can you swim? There's no way Troy would have given an answer. In fact, I did say it out loud about swimming. He did not give an answer, but it's something that persists. It's, not, it's something that people still talk about, and you know, there was a post on Hogwarts Legacy's Twitter a few days ago that had a lot of people jumping to that. It really is the only thing that we can kind of look at as, so and if this is like a stretch too, this really is a stretch. It's the only thing you can look to of, of are they teasing it? And they simply say from the tallest mountains to the deepest caverns, hone your skills anywhere in the wizarding world. And people are saying, well, deepest caverns, does that mean like deep? So does that mean literally underwater? I will be flat out honest with you. I think the answer to well, that thing, uh, you know, does deepest caverns mean underwater? I think the answer is no. I don't think that's what that means. I think it just means like uh, very, I think it literally just means very deep caves, <laughs> like like, so, like, a, like a layer. You know, they talked about those kind of um, exploration things we can do in Hogwarts, uh, you know, at the end of that state of play, you know, ex exploring outside of the, uh, the castle walls. Look. This is a good time for, you know, people that have never heard me say this before or people new to the channel. I love water. And I don't just love water like, you know, people need it to live kind of way. I love just water in general. I love water parks. It's my favorite thing to do in life. Um, I love the color blue. I love pools. I love swimming. I'm not like a professional. I just like have some sort of weird, sick obsession with it. And uh, I rank water in games. I like to give those scores. So, you know, if you want to unsubscribe because you think I'm creepy now, that's totally fine. But trust me, nobody wants swimming and water in this game more than me. And I know maybe other people say that, but I really mean it. Um, and that's, you know, but, but I will say this though, to be flat out honest, with you i think the answer also in general the answer is no i'm gonna go off on a limb i'll give you my alex prediction i'm gonna predict we are not gonna be able to swim in this game um it, would it be common or well actually both ways like i can think of games open world games where you can swim i can think of open world games where you can't swim i mean it really just depends on i guess their focus it, I, I guess it's even what troy had said where it's like i feel like they have thought of pretty much anything that you could do in this world the question is or i guess the response is they know like what people are going to be asking about this this or that but you can only do so much in a game you can only do so much in in, in the development of a game to make it possible so while i do want swimming i do want well, I, I guess that's it, right? Swim because there will be water. I assume there will be water. I don't know if you'd be able to like, go into it unless it's like some sort of like shallow pond that like do doesn't uh like it doesn't go up to uh, like past you. You can't dive in it, right? You can just kind of walk through it. I I mean I, I think that could potentially be in the game, but in terms of like actual swimming, diving. I, you know, like one recent example would obviously be Horizon. Okay, Horizon probably, at least on PS5, Horizon probably is like the best water we've seen in any game in terms of, I mean, you can do those deep dives and it, I mean, I, I platinum the game. The game looks absolutely freaking unreal all the time, let alone when you're in the water. But, but here's the thing, I guess here's why I bring it up. Water was like a focus of theirs. Now, okay, I mean, it's, it's a new thing on a sequel to a game, so it's something kind of new that, that you couldn't have talked about and highlighted as much as the first. So I, I do, I guess what I'm saying is I get there's differences, right? But I would just imagine during the state of play, if, if swimming and, and I guess even linking it to this tweet, if swimming and going underwater to explore like underwater caves, let's say, if that was in the game, I, o I feel like, I was going to say I almost feel like, it could be either. I feel like that would be like a real focal point, like a focus of, of this game, where they would want to show it off. Now, they haven't shown off everything. There are obviously more uh, more things that they didn't show us. We still don't know how dialogue works. We still don't, you know, there, there's a couple, actually. We still don't know how morality works, which I'm going to be making a video on, on some of that stuff uh, really soon. But we don't, I mean, you know what I mean? But we know the... We know the skeleton details about those things. We just don't know exactly like what are what's the font on on the screen. Well, how many choices in dialogue are we gonna have? Like we don't know those kind of things. Swimming, I feel like, is just such a big thing. Especially, and not necessarily just swimming, right? If you swim in a pool, do you need to show that off in a state of play? No. But if you're talking about you literally want to go in the water, like Horizon, like Horizon, and dive deep, 
to use their word, deep into like underground caves. If that's what you think that's going to be in the game or that's what you want to be in the game, I feel like that's a pretty gigantic thing that also is kind of like, uh, well, not a lot of games can even do that. R true. I mean, not a lot of games, in fact, very few can do li what, let's say, Horizon. What Horizon Forbidden West did, there's very few games that can do that. Hence, why if you can do that, I imagine you it's almost like gloating. At least that's how maybe I would look. It's not necessarily, but you could look at it as like, hey, look, look what we did in our game. It's really cool. Very few games can do this. Let's show you that our game has that in it. And I just, you know what I mean? And I just feel like because Hogwarts hasn't shown it, I just don't think it's going to happen over the next couple months. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to say no to that. Um, it, it very well could happen. I hope it happens, but I, I really just don't think we'll be able to um, I, maybe swim. I, I mean, I would maybe give you, if, if we're like betting or we're like doing a negotiation, I think uh, swimming is, is like more of a possibility, obviously, than like diving. Diving, I think, would be about a 0% chance in my mind. I just don't, I flat out don't think you'll be able to deep dive underwater in this game. Swimming in general, maybe, may, maybe like a 30, 40% chance I'd put it at. But let me know what you guys think. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Bell icon turned on so you know when all these videos go up. Like I said, I want to talk about some of the things that they didn't show and, uh, and kind of go into detail on that, like morality and, and dialogue options and stuff like that. So we'll do that um, over the next little while. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all on the next video.